lovely. So today I am having anxiety attacks and a lot of anxiety over a lot of different things and change and I just am not a happy camper. So today I'm going to talk about one of my obsessions. Yay. Okay, so one of my obsessions is a show called The Killing and it's on Netflix. I think I have a link below. If not, I think it's very straightforward, like Netflix.com, and they give you a month, two two weeks to a month free if you want to check it out uh, and catch up with me. But there's four seasons, and they just released the fourth season, and I am very excited. A lot of people did not like the first season because the first season is. I'm not going to say, but a lot of people thought the whole show was going to be about something like every season and so people were getting a little bit like angry and because people want like finality and to like get the bad guy and figure things out or like someone die or anything but that didn't really happen it's slow but um season two and season three are freaking awesome it's just a regular kind of cop case the main person Lyndon is one of my favorite characters ever. I think she's amazing and awesome and just a very unusual woman um, in that she doesn't want to just get married and have a kid and juggle her career. Um, she does want to take care of her son and juggle her career, but really she's just really driven with her career. So um, I'm just <laughs> having fibro and all. I'm just watching the season finale of season three three before I get into the fourth season because I don't remember what's going on and the season starts out with blood on her hands and on her partner's hands her body blood I don't know I remember just seeing blood and I was like um I think I might have forgotten something so uh, I went back and I've been watching the, la the season finale over again and trying to remember what happened so I can start the next season um, it would be really awesome if you guys could get Netflix and watch along with me so I could not, so I don't have to spoil things for you and um, just be able to talk about it and whatnot because I really, really like it. I think it's fascinating. I think it's a well done show. It's done by Netflix, so I think you can only watch it on Netflix. I think that would be a good assumption. <laughs> you can see my thought process is a little. Ooh. So, yeah, it's a Netflix exclusive original show. I think this is last season. I don't think they're going to do any more seasons of it. I don't know. Netflix is always like stopping the most amazing shows like Endgame. Endgame by uh, Netflix is one of my favorite shows like ever. It's up there with like Sherlock and Downton Abbey and just such good shows. So I don't know why they're doing that always. Like because they can just keep them going as long as they want. I don't know if they lose actors or actresses or what, but, so, I hope it's not the last season, but, so you guys can go on and support it for me. Um, yeah, so, I am excited, so I will be probably talking about that in the new, next, new upcoming Obsessions video, um, and that is all for today. I don't know. I can't believe I just did that. Whatever. And I'm not going to edit it out. So, again, ding. Uh, I hope you guys have a pain free, stress free day. And we're sending out X double O's, we meaning the dog on my lap, because otherwise that sounds really creepy like there's a ghost sitting next to me. Because I don't normally say we, but Bella's right here. So, that's why I said we. Her and I. Bella show them you so they don't think I've been talking to ghosts. Although that would be really cool. Alright, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!